agent for that load called me this morning and said, hey, would you like to make that a round trip? And of course I asked, what's it pay? And she told me, and I said, oh yeah, definitely, I will do that. All right, good morning. We're still sitting in this rest area. I just got a phone call from Katie. There's Bailey. Uh, we're still sitting in the rest area here outside of Indianapolis. Uh, I got a phone call from Katie. My load, my reload canceled. So we got to find another reload. This plastic pipe, we're only like 20 minutes away from where it goes. So it's 8.30 local time. Uh, so I'm going to sit around for about 30 minutes and let people do their thing in the office and see if they can book some more loads and if we can come up with an option to go somewhere. But uh, that's what's going on this morning. I was just getting ready to leave when she called. So it happens. Uh, when things start slowing down, you're going to see it happen more often. Uh, there's a possibility because the load we were going to go pick up was the same stuff that they dropped the rate on that other load I talked about yesterday. It's a possibility somebody did it cheaper. So... Uh, there's a good possibility that happened too. But anyway, all right, we'll figure it out. I'll let you know what happens here. yesterday so take the next left on the color lane then continue straight I ended up down in uh, Louisville last night or yesterday and uh, so I didn't get a load yesterday Katie uh, booked me a load out of Louisville going down to Tampa and that's the plastic pipe we just loaded. And I'm trying to get in here to the Speedco to get my oil changed. If I can get across the road here. Tampa going to back up to Hunts 
Knoxville, Alabama. Pretty, which was pretty good because we're only like gonna be like 20 miles away. Then the agent for that load called me this morning and said, "Hey, would you like to make that a round trip, Tampa to Huntsville, Huntsville back down to Tampa?" And of course, I asked, "What's it pay?" And she told me, and I said, "Oh yeah, definitely, I will do that." So we got lucky. So we got us a good round trip. So we'll end up back in Tampa on Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. finally got the oil change four and a half hours to get the oil changed oh I'm not mad I'm grateful for the people who were working but that's the biggest problem is labor and uh, you know and it's just not oil change place it's everywhere truck stops it, uh, I don't know where I don't know where everybody went but uh, everywhere is hurting for labor. It's a big problem in our little town too. All the restaurants, all the stores are having problems getting labor. So anyway, we got the oil changed. Uh, $386. I'm assuming that's right. Cat filters, um, trailer grease. So I wanted to go a little further, but it's now almost six o'clock. I don't want to take a chance of uh, not finding any parking. So I wanted to get down past Nashville. But it's Mother's Day weekend. Traffic's going to be a mess. All right. We'll go out. Look at what we got real quick. All right. This is what we got on our Dorsey trailer. More plastic pipe. Been hauling a lot of this stuff lately. This is going down to Tampa. So we're at a little, little truck stop here. I'm afraid to go down past Nashville and not be able to find any parking. Plus traffic. Ah, 25,000 pounds on the trailer. This is a nice easy load. Got my belly straps. We got three straps over the top. So we got two straps pulling this way, that middle strap's pulling that way. The reason I do that is uh, if you have all the straps pulling the same way, sometimes it has a tendency to want to pull the bundles this way. So that other strap kind of helps pull it back upright. Trailer's doing good. I got all my stuff done at Louisville yesterday. So don't need any Walmart stuff. But yeah, I was not expecting that to take four and a half hours to get the oil changed. But I had almost 18,000 miles on the motor or on the oil. So it was definitely time. So, all right. All right, so we'll call it quits for today. We'll hit it tomorrow and uh, see how far we can get down into Florida. I don't know. Let me see how many I really wanted. See, I'm worried about getting further down south. Close. You got Nashville. Between Nashville and Chattanooga, there's not too many options for parking especially late at night 
Chattanooga to Atlanta. Yeah, it's Friday. There's a chance. But uh, that's one thing I worry about, parking. All right, I'm just rambling. We'll deal with it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.